Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the stars and shapes that we can find in the sky during the month of March. So to sit back and relax, we'll load up Stellarium, our sky simulator, and take a look at some of the bright stars and shapes that we can find out there. So here we are, standing in front of the CERN and Earth and Space Center, Triton College in River Grove, Illinois. We have our date set for March 15th, so right in the middle of the month, and our time is set for 9 o'clock in the evening, which will be about two hours after the sun sets on March 15th. Once again, that is the best time to go outside and look because it's not too late and the sky will be dark enough for you to actually see the stars that are out there. Now we're looking towards the west right now, towards the CERN and Earth and Space Center. If we look up higher in the sky, over towards the southwest, we can still see our very familiar wintertime constellations. We have Orion the Hunter and his hunting dogs over here. That's the big dog and the little dog. We have Taurus the Bull as well. And Mars is still visible in the nighttime sky inside of Taurus the Bull. Now, those are our wintertime constellations, but you'll still see them throughout the early spring. They'll disappear about mid-April. You won't be able to see them anymore until next year. As we continue across the sky, we have some newer shapes that are high up and easy to see. Right next to Orion and almost straight up in the sky, we have two very bright stars that are very close to each other and are very close to the same brightness. They look almost like identical copies of each other, or twins. And those are the stars Castor and Pollux, which make up the heads of the shape of Gemini, the twins, which we can see right here. So that's right above Orion the Hunter, next to the little dog right over here. And if we continue to work our way across the sky, we'll see another recognizable shape that has a sort of backwards question mark view right here that we can see. Bring this up. There we go. The backwards question mark, and that makes up Leo the lion with that bright star Regulus, which means heart of the king sitting right in his chest. Now, just in between those two, right in between the shape of Leo the lion and Gemini the twins, there is another zodiac constellation, Cancer the crab. This one is a little bit harder to see, though. The stars aren't quite so bright. But if I click on it there, you'll see it come up. Doesn't look too much like a crab. I guess it looks more like a crab than that looks like a little dog. But that is Cancer the Crab right in between Gemini and Leo the Lion. All of these are going to be nice, bright, and easy to see. We'll have some more of our springtime constellations starting to rise up. But for right now, they're still a little bit below the horizon. Things like uh, Virgo and Arcturus in the constellation of Boötes are going to be starting to come up. But they're still a little bit too hard to see for right now. So if you wait another month or so, we'll be talking a little bit more about those. But these are what's going to be visible tonight. Well, thank you everyone for joining me for taking a look at the night sky of the month of March. Again, my name is Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center. And remember, get out there and take a look at your night skies.